EXC is a team that is newer to the scene here. Monster 442, Knight, and Tito. But for what it's worth, if you make it to a regional, you are absolutely worth talking about. Sure. And looking at some of the performances yesterday, .exe, well, they can execute. So I think this is a nice matchup for XN. Yeah, the last time uh, this team, especially Monster, kind of really pinged my radar was back in the third and final year, uh, winter regional for North America. Uh, they ran under a squad named Empty Space, and they placed like 13th through 16th, so not anything super impressive, but when you get towards that top 16 conversation, that's when you start to at least make a couple of waves and conversations, and ever since then, they've started to improve their game immensely, closing out a lot of gaps at the midfield, which just kind of tightens up your Rocket League gameplay, but I mean, they have a hard group EFTA. They had to play G2, Alpine, and NRG. So the fact that they're 0-3 is not anything to just laugh about. They are going against the three best teams currently in their group. Definitely got to agree with that one. Uh, you know, here, the onus is on Xset to win this game. Sure. Uh, you come in here, and this is what you're supposed to be doing. And frankly speaking, Xset has not been doing what they're supposed to be doing. And so if I'm if I'm .exe, this is a phenomenal opportunity for me to yeah. find a team that is a a you know middle uh, a, a middle to high end shelf team and try to find a victory but it's Hoxer who just could, sort of bounces this one in <laughs> honestly just defense sleeping yeah, there tends to be a couple of things you could look at with Xset and say, okay, this is the fast that we're going to try to abuse. But I think the big takeaway for any team watching the the, the resurgence of Xset currently and lately, how they've been able to close out late game situations, Xset are very good at the fundamentals, and that's an aspect they focused on heavily in the grid. They took the grid about as seriously as a world championship, and they were working consistently on making sure their fundamentals were sound. And you can make mistakes as long as your fundamentals in Rocket League are good enough to get you through games. And something Ooh. that Xset have been doing phenomenally. Again, Hawks are just understanding the free space he has around and the takeaway from Knight. These are things that you need to stop Xset from doing. Listen, that first goal was just kind of an okie doke. The second one earned and burned. Hawks are takes it to the bank and goes off the ceiling. You love to see it. So now with a two-goal lead, three minutes left of the contest, X set. As I said, it's kind of their duty to do this, but they haven't mm. been going for it, and that's what I want to see more of. Tito, all the way from Knight on the other side. This is a good-looking play. Knight decides to drop it down and give it to the teammate instead of taking it himself, which ultimately leads to getting past the defender, and we've got a one-goal game. It's almost like standing in a batting cage and the, the coach is saying, okay, read the pitches, I release it. Just read the defenses they are coming off onto the ball. At Just the point of contact, What what is the play going to be? Well, man-to-man, -man, okay, interrupt the flow and get someone underneath the ball to be able to punch it through. That's exactly what they did. It works out, and that's how you're going to beat a team like Exit, who's top-heavy on defense. All right now, another shot on goal here. Hawks are blocks it. Exe trying to find their second win of the weekend. Only one W for them in the grand scheme of things. One and nine with their 10 games played. Obviously, they've lost those series. So trying to find some sort of light in the darkness here for a team that I think is uh, a little bit better than the one and nine might kind of show. Sure. But see, I think this is where they they kind of have their, their limitations, or at least seeming so. Ooh. Nice block by Monster is they play a little slow, Spaceman. Yeah, they really do. And that is kind of sometimes just the, both the nature of the game and, and a victim of circumstance. Uh, the way that Rocket League can form out, especially with top teams, understanding how to disrupt the ebb and flow and create yeah. their own kind of offense. But again, uh, so far, I mean, even though they are down a goal, you look at this team and you just say, okay, they're doing a good job of taking the boost away in the corners, which is forcing Xset to pop the ball high to get enough time on defense to recover out to the midfield. If they keep taking away those resources for Xset, you're going to have an easy time moving that defense out of the goal line and taking this ball away off the backboard. Leads way to a counterattack down the field. It's a nice job so far. A buck 30 to go, just about. And good news for Exe fans is that although they're obviously not in the lead right now time of possession has been about similar you yeah. know it hasn't been an exit dominant game uh they're honestly i think the the team with the most possession is is the neutral field <laughs> in all honesty yep. we've seen a lot of this not quite boomer ball but just like 
just stuck in the mud, nothing really doing here. And we're continuing to see some of that, which, again, if you're a .exe fan, is a positive. Yep. If you want to know how well a team is reading the field, there's two things you go off of. One, time of possession. Two, pressure time. How many times do they keep the ball in the opposite end of the field inside Xset's half? So far, they've been winning both categories handedly. And Xset has just been giving it away. And again, this series will tell more about Xset than it will about EXE. Because EXE really have nothing to lose. They're playing with house money, although they are down 0-3 in their groups. Xset have been on the climb up ever since the last couple of weeks. So this is a very big matchup for their standings. You know, if I if I may, I might challenge that 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 Go idea that that it's uh, it says more about X set. I think Tito actually opening things up at night with a phenomenal phenomenal angle ties the game up with 18 to go. That is the most ridiculous double tap you will see in the history of a bubble team coming to the RLCS, hitting it off the back wheel, removes all control from the position of the ball. That is unreal, that control on the on the field. That is disgusting. That's what I was talking about. I saw moments like this yesterday. And with the game tied up, nobody's going to push this one in. Exit on their last shot. Tito grounds it. And that's OT, baby. That is one of those angles that it, it, it just only has one outcome. You either hit it or you don't. So there's like a 50% chance that's going in, but... I mean, that is ridiculous confidence. J Pal nice on the kickoff, shot. crossbar, and the defense does its job perfectly, so you'll stall exit out into the corner with very little boost to extend the play. But after that, you said you were watching them yesterday, what were you noticing out of the EXC squad? That, honestly. Knight being able to pull off angles like that. We saw a ceiling shot from Knight mm. that was uh, top tier. Like, you watch these bubble teams, and again, they get here for good reason. Sure. Right now, Hoxer after J Pal. And Tito, with the world to himself, has Alpha Kep show up at the last minute. Knight keeps the possession. Going to be met here by defense. Tito, no boost. Monster, on the other hand, sends it directly to Hoxer. And Xset will send J Pal. Slovenly, though. And really, Spaceman, it's, uh, Knight has these shots, dude. You're a bubble team. You've got here for good reason. Mm -hmm. There are teams that are better than you here. Full stop. However, you will see why these teams get here. And it's plays like that. A minute plus in overtime. And ball stuck in mid. This is a good overtime for Xset because EXE are, are playing soft touches that really go nowhere. Uh-oh. This might be a chance for a counterattack. And these slow touches leave way to slow Xset boost. having position at midfield. Xset will spread the defense out towards the sidelines and then go for a quick shot. And, and that is how you just disrupt the rotation back to the box. Xset are doing a very good job in this OT, though they haven't scored. It's those small details between the, the sidelines that really matter most. Back to midfield we go. And it's basically no one's ball. Could be a good setup for Xset. Hoxer comes out of the corner, passes it to Alpha Cap, yeah. and takes the game! Beautiful setup play. Hoxer saw that from zero to a hundred. And Alpha Kep just clocks in and clocks out. That's the job, boys. Game one for Xset. Yeah, that was just such an easy read for Xset. Again, you had multiple moments in that overtime where EXE were slow touching it for shots and barely popping it out to the midfield. So what does Hoxer do? He brings the ball down to the ground and says, if you guys are going to ball chase on defense, I'm going to wrap it around the corner and punch it out to a teammate who's already centered. And if we quick shoot it, there's no way you're catching the velocity. And that's exactly what he did. He recognized the defensive spread. He understood the ball chasing was going to be the call on the defensive end for EXE. And Xset capitalized. That is just a perfect read to the defensive strat and uh that is uh, again the fundamentals that exit will have over most teams especially teams coming through a bubble is that understanding and the devil between the details of just how to play the game when it comes down to the ground uh well done ot game two here starting out and if you're if you're dot exe you've got to feel You've got to feel okay about that one. Sure. I think it's. I think that is easier said than done. But I mean, you're out here. You've played against many teams that are more difficult to to do. And here's Xset, not having a, a a great weekend. And this is sort of a situation that you've got to take advantage of. I think game number one is proof that you can do it. But now you've got to actually convert. I'm not here for moral victories, dude. I want to see a W in that column 
and right now dot exe is playing like they can but not like they have yeah a lot of it just kind of comes down to repetitions and, and the ability to recognize patterns too so if you're playing against nrg or g2 or alpine you're going to be able to pick up on player tendencies much quicker than a team like Exet who's struggling. I kind of look at Exet like a bit of a Heisenberg principle. Well, so let's extend this analogy, right? So you're going to know when Exet's moving up the field or where Exet are going, but you can't know both. It's, it's more okay. unpredictable than NRG or G2 because you're already over expecting them to create something out of nothing. So you're being able to keep up with the pace mentally. Uh, Exet are a little that. bit slower in that regard. So it's a bit more of a guessing game, game than you would expect against top team. I feel that. I, I think that's actually really relevant. And, uh, you know, shout outs to our, our resident PhD here. But, like, uh, on the other side, I think Xset, you know, they're Schrodinger's Rocket League team. You don't know if they're good or bad. They're a bubble team. Here they are. And so, like you said before, they're playing with house money, dude. Yep. They, they really can kind of come out and do what they want. Although, if they miss the ball like that, that's not going to be too hot there. Uh, <laughs> Knight going to try and keep it on this side. And for the first time all game, it seems like EXE have some sort of control. Scratch that. You know, it's all orange. Alpha Kemp sends it towards. Tito slightly touches it. Hoxer goes a little high. And that'll be blue possession one more time. Knight. No teammate on the left wing. And Hoxer's able to abuse it up high. Tito gets a touch. But still scoreless after 242. And these are the moments where just from a Rocket League viewing perspective where you're looking at the fundamentals because we've reached a part as Tito tried to find the bump. We've reached a part in this game where both teams are kind of uncharacteristically missing hits and missing shots. So it throws off everyone else because you're expecting challenges to go a certain way. And when it doesn't, you fall off the play awkwardly. That's when you need the fundamentals to kick back in and become first nature again. And that's where Xset excels. So far, they have just looked confused, and so has the other side for EXE. Everyone's just unsure of how to play these Ooh. touches, and it's not looking good. Hawkser almost had a nice sequence past the defense, but instead it turns around! Tito takes one and leaves it, and again, off of the assist from Knight. That's one of those turns that Tito just says, I'm going to try to put my car in front of this ball. I don't know if that was planned for the corner, but... You get lucky on the turn regardless. A nice placement from Knight as well to get it right over the hood of the defender. And a well done job to get a 1-0 lead here in game two. They're down a game in this series, but it's a it's gonna be a long series, I feel like. We might be going the distance. This is this is a big oh, deal, God. I think, for, for dot exe, because if, if if you score that one goal before the four minute mark, it's a little scary. You gotta hold on for mad long. Mm -hmm. This is a reasonable amount of time, and I think I'm a little bit less worried. <laughs> Monster gets credit for the save, but are you uh, sure about that? <laughs> that's all luck, baby. That one, on the oh other hand, God. that one belongs to Knight. Nice defense there. Gonna need a lot more of it though, because after that first goal, Xset seem relentless yeah. as they assault the net time and time again. Yeah, diving saves are pretty, but it doesn't mean you're out of the woods just yet. A lot of boost at the midfield for Tito and Knight. Knight, who's basically been running point on the ball when it comes to counterattacks, and then you work from the ceiling. There it is again. There's the wow. shot. There's the 2-0 lead with 60 seconds on the clock. I mean, you talk about as perfect and as picturesque as you want. Knight calls it. Tito responds, and they get the goal. And, and again, off of the assist from Knight. Yep. Knight with two assists, Tito with two goals, and that's the way Mommy likes it. Just... Easy peasy. Share the ball, and we can share the W. Tito gets in the middle. And we are sub 60 seconds now. Blue side of the field. Alpha Kep goes up, but has to dance with a member of EXE. J Pow keeps it, and Alpha Kep goes up, but it's Knight that gets there first. Knight can't handle the angle, and the ball bounces all the way downfield which honestly if you're exe or a fan of theirs ain't no thing it's more time burned off the clock counting down here monster bounces off and honestly it's a little bit too soon too fast too hard is it enough time though two goals is too too many 
Mm. and Xset look like they're about to lose game number two to Dot .exe. Oh, this kill surely. Doggy back goal? Nah, not gonna happen. EXE take game two. And F dot. a lot of the times when bubble teams start to perform like this at this level, I like to call it dust cover offense. And I'll explain what I mean. So, you know, the, usually you, you see what you get with a book, right? The dust cover kind of tells you, okay, this is the antithesis of, of the story. This is kind of how I expect the vibe to be. When you're a team that's come through the bubble, it's come through a gauntlet and is now playing against the best in the world, you're going to stick to what works. You're going to stick to what got you to this position and what currently is keeping you at least for the moment in the groups so exe are showing exit exactly what they're going to do on offense every time they have the ball what are they going to do they're going to have night run point up the field they're going to have them use the ceiling or the sidewall and they're going to try to find a pass to the midfield for a center every time that's been the offense for exe because it's worked and so it's called a dust cover offense because they're showing you the very top of the book and saying these are our cards mm. play us again exit have not been doing a good job of not only reading that but also they haven't been responding down the field with fundamentals. And when you're not able to get super creative because you're a bubble team and you're sticking to what works because it works, you have to be able to counter that if you're XSET and XSET just are not doing it. That's the mindset. That is the mindset. Tied at one, we enter the minefield and Tito is the one with possession right away. Disrupted a little bit, Monster gets tackled. Oh, he had a shot, but a better defensive play coming out from Xset completely, completely ruins that opportunity for Dot .exe. And a shot down, helped out the own goal. Credit to Hawkser as Xset starts this one off with a bang. Yeah, if I was Xset's coach in these comps, I'd be saying, all right, let's get physical now. Let's start going for some bumps, for some demos. Let's disrupt the back goal line. Find ways to make exe uncomfortable on the field because if they're going to play one-dimensional offense let's just take them off the play entirely so they can't yeah. get super creative and change it on us so far exit off the start have found multiple bumps and already they have a goal that's exactly where i was thinking just a much more physical game here out of exit off the rip and yeah. i mean it's working you know like uh <laughs> yeah what are just they shove them in a locker you? dude probably not so just yeah. bump them off the play Knight here with a decent angle. Not good enough, though. And now it's off to the races, luckily. j Pow here. One more shot off the wall. Nobody there. A lot of Rocket League can be played here. And so I think that Dot .exe shouldn't be too concerned. One goal games never really trigger my Richter scale, so to speak. But I start banging around when it becomes two. Yeah, you're going to get my attention when you're able to keep up with a team like Xset, but you're really going to get my praise when you're able to counteract their physicality and move around. The way Knight's been able to clear that ball out again, I want to see what EXE do and how they respond to the different level of defense that Xset are throwing on the field, just with the small bumps that take them out of rotation, Teammates. like this. You're looking for those quick shots to disrupt the goal line, and while it didn't work out there, it doesn't mean it won't in the future. Alpha, off target again. Xset striking has not been there this series really hasn't been their their disorganization has been their detriment this game i think or this series mm. i think that's really been the, been the key here is it's a lack of organization which oh wouldn't have mattered there just a brawn shot from alpha cap but scooped up by dot exe defense tito here wants to gain control but he can't and it's x set on the other side, Monster denies. Alpha Cat keeps it here. Up high on the left-hand side, misses the opportunity and hands it off to Knight like a football play. Knight coming from the side, up top, passes down. Shot is too high. Secondary opportunity won't find the hole either. And it's one more time, X set ball. And that was the first time all game we've seen EXE have a secondary possession towards the backboard or at least try to keep the play alive. So I'm interested to know how they're going to play the rest of the game, more importantly, the series. If they only get one good look at the net per drive down the field, Xset, who have just kind of had chippy shots, but it moves the defense out, so you can just counter that by playing man-to-man. -man. For EXE, you're not getting a lot of second touches and possessions, so you got to make the most out of your first swing down the field. They haven't been able to do so, but that was a good chance there. No goal here, and Knight's going to save it away. 
Knight is absolutely the player to watch on this team. Yeah. Listen, I know Tito's been getting all the goals. And Monster's a good player to zone. Knight is the dude to watch. He is so much fun. He finds himself on the ceiling half the time, gives the angles, and has even been stepping up on the defensive end. This time it's Tito that finds a save here. Tito desperately trying to get this ball out of the blue half, as Exet has done a good job this time around of maintaining possession. Still only one goal, Spaceman, but that's the biggest difference here. We noted the physical play, and for me, it's the amount of time that Orange has had the ball on blue side Yikes. of the field. Yikes is right, but they get away with it. Yeah, I, it seems like EXC are already starting to crumble a little bit on defense. They're trying to find a clear for clear sake and not for possession sake, and that's the problem, is they're not getting lucky, and they're not having a lot of boost to be able to extend this ball down the field. Xset are doing a very good job of managing the chaos of the goal line and continuing to challenge someone on that ball to just make it even more difficult. I mean, this is the first real decent clear they've had in a minute. Finally, Tito is going to extend, but even on these counterattacks on offense, it's just been a it's, couple of big whiffs here. Knight's going to play through the corner. No real big center. And they have struggled to get the ball over Exet. Well, there it is. Final moments ticking down. Still a one goal game. Absolutely within reason. Monster looking for what could be the last push of game number two here. Uh -oh. And with that one, that We'll put an exclamation point on game two for Exit. Yeah, this kind of swatting the ball away defense works really well when you have a lead and there's like 60 seconds left in the game. It doesn't right. work really well when you're down a goal or two and you only have a minute or so to get back in the game because you're not holding possession. They were doing it in game one and they were applying pressure. They have not done any of that in this one. You could tell, I don't know if it was nerves or just we weren't able to execute our game plan, but the, the very quick release ball, go for a big clear, doesn't work when you can't maintain possession down the field. Yeah, I I, uh, I think this is an example of, of Xset being the, the team. I said before that the onus here is, is on Xset, right? Uh, Ex the executables are a team that are coming out of the bubble scene. They're they're yeah. they're striving to rise up, etc. And Xset is the established. That, you know they're the incumbent. Uh, and game number one was not something Xset wants to show their friends at home. Game number two was <laughs> okay. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that game one, EXE. Here we are. And 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 so I think that game number two was much more indicative of the team that Xset think they are no they are and are mm -hmm. and so if anything game number one was the outlier to me and if i'm dot exe i need to adjust to what xset has brought in game two which yeah. we discussed were a couple of variables yeah and the over dissection of of both what xset's doing and what exe are doing are not just for the sake of the broadcast and the sake of saying oh here's us analyzing what they're doing wrong i mean these are the fundamentals and the kind of uh mental analyses that you have to do mid-game for the players so a lot of this is just looking at how bubble teams play and how this specific team plays and saying okay how are you playing against one of the one of the the better north american squads that's risen up in the ranks lately and what are you not doing that that could be fixed and would be helping you in the series because it's been relatively close up until the last minute or so of each game so it's been mm -hmm. a, it's been a quality showing for EXE, but there are things that are very flagrant that need to be fixed if they want to get back here in the same situation sometime down the road. I mean, it is a one to two series, and so EXE, like I said, I think the second win there is more indicative of for uh, sure. the second exit win is really what you have to focus on beating. Yeah, you, yeah. you can't focus on beating that first win as Alpha Cap gets a just a toe tap. I mean, we've seen this gradual decline in the defense so far in the series, and even then, fighting for possession on the ceiling, that's a very, very routine play that if Exet have free range, they're going to yep. punch that ball down for a center, and you better believe that with six seasons, or actually ten seasons into Rocket League now, <laughs> people know, hey, if you're on the ceiling, look for a center down again. Ooh. Hoxer puts in another one. Oh, God, Exet are starting to warm up a little bit. Yep, Alpha Cat makes it past one and sets up Hoxer for a play they have made hundreds of times. The rebound off the right side backboard. And so before the four-minute mark, two goals 
in the exit column. Monster with a flip trying to Ooh. push it home. Gets it done and looks pretty well doing it. Oh, respectfully. Absolutely zero need to be that dirty on the play. Monster, that is how you respond on offense. Yep. And see, again, I mentioned it. I think it was game two where Knight had that insane kind of pass off the ceiling. Here yeah. we see a coast-to-coast -coast flip reset, sing a solo dribble. Like, you know, nobody's saying this squad is incapable. They are here. And if you make it to a North American regional, I mean, you're in the top They're exclusive competent. percentage, right? Yeah. And so we know we can see that. What makes it difficult is doing that against other teams. This ain't free play, homie. This is exit. Yep. You've got to do that with the other team on the field. And so we know what can happen. It's just got to be a little bit more consistent. And so my direct question to you, as Hoxer makes his way towards the goal, is how does EXE find that consistency? Well, one, they can't do what they did last game, which was give the ball away pretty quickly on the counterattacks. They didn't really have a counterattack last game. Two, you have to move out of defense as a unit down the field. Uh, getting a lot of, you know, punch up shots with the ball to the corner and not really clearing it away is a problem. But the creativity on offense needs to come back. I mean, you have clearly three individually talented players who are sticking to a game plan of let's pass to one another and make exit playoffs on the team game. If Knight's able to score from the ceiling and Monster can just do that individually down the field, maybe just take the shackles off of one another and just say, okay, let's let's try to individually all run point and just see if we can get creative because you're down a goal. You're in game four. You're already 0-3 in, in the groups. Uh, try something else, dude. Uh, uh, it might come through defense because j Powell just kind of triple tapped this <laughs> and this is not okay. Like, yeah. Uh, well, hmm. Yeah, that's what I get from rambling. I get the idea. Try something different. Don't, at the end of the day, I think if I down. could be, it, 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 I, 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 I don't think XE, I don't think .exe's decision making is the best, and I think sure. that that has led to their downfall. And so taking the shackles off and saying, "Go ahead and run," uh, positive. Neg Honestly, I see both sides of it. Like, sure. let them go and everybody makes poor choices, or let them go and nobody's thinking, so you can't make poor choices, right? Like. <laughs> Maybe that's the idea. Just play the game. Yeah, Open don't net, force yourself though. to stick to this style. Open net, of, though. God, well, Open net, yeah. though. Open net, though. I mean, if, if you're EXE, and this is just for going forward, because at this moment, you're down 4-1. There's a minute 50. We know Coliseum's a tricky map, sure, but uh, for at least going forward. Nah, don't we, give me that. Don't when, give me listen, that. They're losing because of Coliseum. Come no, on. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, Coliseum means, Coliseum means they could come back. It's 4-1. We know what happens on this map, but... I'm just saying, for the future, for this roster, if you get in a situation where clearly the, the passing isn't working and clearly the counterattacks aren't working down the field, the defense hasn't been great, j Pal, nice right. dunk, who cares? Don't force yourself to stay in the team mold. Like, it's okay to get a little creative and a little wacky. Like, just, you know, both, yeah, have fun, duh. But also, don't force yourself to play, you know, by the book Rocket League. You can always change things up on the fly. I I, I, I agree, and I, dis I agree to a certain extent. I think it's very important to play your own game especially in a game like rocket league like this isn't you know this isn't a a, a game like a, a moba or something where you know your your pluses and minuses every couple of patches this is very much you envy and g2 uh, that's probably it. envy and energy <laughs> uh, are two top teams that have two wildly different play styles sure and that's okay yeah and i think you need to internalize your own play style figure yourself out and what a lot of teams do because you have your play style but now you're up against a better team you think you have to internalize the other team and, and, and play against them specifically which is true but i think the being a great rocket league team is finding the balance of how much of your own identity you need to preserve and push and play with versus sure how much of your opponent's game you have to sideboard against. And sure. that, I think, is that entire, that's the entire equation. So if you get too far away from what you do, if you're a slow team that decides to just hit the gas, that might be even more detrimental. Here's what I'll extend with, because I agree with 100% of what you just said, but also I would, I would ask that we also consider this. 
99% of the teams in especially in Rocket League, get their play style through trial and error, and eventually it works. Like, they figure out what exactly works for them. So, like, G2, he pressure heavy offense, consistent passing, good rotational and recoveries, stuff like that. Right. For, and if you're the 1% like BDS, who your personality comes through the rival series and then it works, that's rare. But for bubble teams coming up, you're not going to figure out what exactly works for you yet until you consistently have trial and error at the top level. So I think that's where I'm coming from is saying, okay, clearly they're not a BDS. So the best way to figure out what works for this team is when you get in moments where the teamwork and this textbook, we're going to do this, and if we can't execute the game plan, we'll try harder to execute the game plan. If that's not working, do not be afraid to change it up because you never know if that will be the keystone to figuring that's out what your personality is. So that's kind of where that I'm makes doing sense. that. Well, uh, nobody's going to Brazil, so uh, no bombia. Sorry, folks. Hoxer gets the seventh goal, and I'm proud of Eggsy for putting up a second one there. Absolutely. They're not gonna get Brazil here. I'm here for it. <laughs> was this the was this the best showing from Yaxi? No, but no. there is there is always something to learn in losses like this and in the series. And there's a lot that both as commentators and as competitors you can learn just by watching what to do, what not to do, and how they approach this series. And even though X said walk away with the 3-0 win in a series that they most likely should have been favored. This was a showing that I hope the EXE squad takes away and says, you know what? There's a lot we can learn and there's a lot we know we can do right. Let's figure out what works and go back to the drawing board. Great stuff here from XSET. Good stuff here from .exe as we kind of see them show up and, and, and you know, that last one, yes, absolutely. Uh, I, we straight up just didn't, you know, call the action because, uh, well, it's a <laughs> we massacre, were having a good folks. discussion. But it they was, uh... found that t that second dub. Yeah. They totally did. They are not one in twelve on the weekend. They are two in twelve, and that's still not great. But I think that's something that you can put on your mantle. We came up and played with the best of the best. We we went up against you know energy and and, and alpine and g2 that's something that like you've yep. got to take to the bank at least a little bit and so dot exe certainly some stuff to learn but i'm looking at night specifically three great three good players here but i'm looking at night and i uh i would like to see more of what this gentleman has to offer whether it's uh next to these two players or otherwise i think it's absolutely something to think about well, it's more than what you can put on the mantle, thought. It's also what worked, worked well. What you came in and were able to pull off in game that found a couple of goals in game one, that found a goal or two in game four, it worked well. You did your job on the field, so clearly you're competent enough to be at this level. What didn't work was so flagrant that it's easily understood what needs to be changed, and you can go back and work on that immediately if you so choose. So there's more than just, hey, we took a couple of games off some pro teams. There is, we know we can stay at this level, and we know that we can at least compete compete with uh, teams in the RLCSX. So that was a very wholesome series. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Wholesome. I like that word. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with it. Coming up next, we have version one versus Vault. Spaceman Vault is 0-3 on, on the weekend. Version mm. one, two and one. Do you think version one continues, pushes forward, or is this where Vault gets to stand up? I think version one should absolutely take this, but we might go to game five. That's mathematically <laughs> how these things go. So... <laughs> Spaceman, always a man of the science. Follow it and follow us here at UGC. As I said, version one versus Vault is coming up next. The RLCS day continues. We'll be back after this.